Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 12 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. If you currently live in the Northern Hemisphere, days are getting shorter and shorter and by the time you finish your village at 5 p.m. will be completely dark. And if you wanted to proudly show your village to all your 14 siblings and all the family members and to all your friendly neighbors, you will need to keep the room lights on 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And most probably you will go bankrupt in a month due to the electricity bill. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but the problem is real. Sooner or later, you will need to deal with the illumination of your village and you will collide with the total ineffectiveness of all the offers on the market. Let's see if I can help you while I continue closing some more open tasks. Boo! Don't worry guys, your devices are still uh, working uh, correctly and I'm still completely out of my mind but uh, Halloween is approaching and I just wanted to, to start uh, this video somehow differently. Uh, let me just make some light for you. Here we go. You can see, I hope you can see the little scene I've uh, laid down in order to explain what I will show you during this uh, 12th part of the series. I have a little uh, well there and the scene is uh, uh, completed by uh, a classic uh, four street lamps from uh, Lemax. And I know the light is very poor uh, but let me just uh, go uh, dark again for a moment. Yes, here we go. Dark again. I will just make uh, some uh, changes uh, quickly in the scene. Let me just uh, uh, undo this and then I will give you some more uh, light. Here we go. Okay. Uh, here I have another example of a street lamp. Uh, and I will explain everything in just a second. You can see how the scene is completely different now. Uh, you have uh, correct uh, shadows all along uh, the objects and uh, uh, maybe uh, the light is uh, too intense and you have a spotlight effect too intense in a very um, restricted area. Let me just go another time uh, dark. Here we go. Another time dark. Let me just bring into the scene another uh, little companion and I will go with this other solution. Let me go just there and voila. Here we go with another solution. Uh, this time uh, the spot uh, effect uh, is reduced but you have a correct uh, setup for the, uh, for the light. The shadows are still present and the light is more diffused. Um, less intense but more diffused. This said let me just uh, go back to a normal uh, situation uh, then I will explain you in more details uh, what uh, I will show you in the next uh, minutes. I'm going dark again. Okay, now it's better. Sorry guys, I'm completely dumb. Anyway, let's just uh, uh, go back uh, some uh, minutes. Uh, let me just remove uh, this uh, little street lamp there. Uh, I've started by showing you how poor the lighting is when you use uh, common uh, street uh, lamps. Yes, these street lamps are pretty, well suited for your uh, villages, but they are also completely useless in terms of lighting. It will be always too poor.
But when you start uh, building uh, Christmas villages and you just want to give uh, some uh, night uh, scene to your setup, you are forced to use uh, these uh, s classical uh, street lamp sets. And when you switch off the light, you simply realize that they are not fit to do their job. Your streets, your little corner, your little square will always remain dark. And you will also be forced to buy some spotlights. Then you try to hide them behind a tree, behind a corner. But it's not realistic in the middle of uh, any avenue or any streets of your cities you certainly have classical street lamps and nowhere you will find a big gigantic spotlight absolutely not in scale with the street lamps so uh, I've started as you start using uh, those street lamps then I think three years ago I decided to uh, improve somehow um, the lighting of my uh, night uh, scenery. And I built this prototype. This is my first uh, street lamp prototype. I still have it because, um, because it's my prototype. And I've used uh, uh, an LED, a plain white LED, some uh, um, narrow uh, electrical cables, an electrical uh, terminal, such as uh, uh, these ones. Very common electrical terminals here in Europe. I don't know if you can get the same uh, kind of terminals uh, in all the countries. You will put, put your uh, cables uh, uh, through there and then a little screw will fix them uh, together. So uh, let get, let's get back to the prototype. And uh, you have uh, then a plastic straw. <laughs> exactly the same you use for your uh, drinks and an aluminium uh, pipe it has a di diameter of 8 millimeters uh, then uh, three uh, washer two little washer and one uh, big washer in order to give stability to my uh, street uh, lamp and by the way the LED is a 3 volt LED and uh, this was my first prototype, as I said. And uh, until last year, uh, my prototype gave uh, this result. Uh, you have just uh, seen it in action. Let me just uh, switch on again the classical uh, street uh, lamps. You can see that the, la the LED inside them is absolutely useless. Then I will also switch on my street lamp. Here we go. Let's switch on the street lamp. You can see that it is uh, more efficient. It resembles to a street lamp, but it's quite uh, out of the historical period. It's absolutely not a Victorian uh, design. And uh, all my Christmas villages are from uh, Caddington Lemax set. And the historical period is uh, Victorian. And uh, during the Victorian historical period, you didn't have electrical street lamps, surely. But if you want to add electrical street uh, lamps, come on, let's uh, get... Uh, closer to the historical period. I haven't uh, found any kind of uh, better solution until some um, months ago, where I found online, and I will put uh, some links down below, don't worry, this little street lamp here. It is completely plastic, absolutely fake street uh, lamp. Let me just show you it better. Absolutely fake street lamp. No illumination at all. No light, no LED inside it. But uh, when I saw them, I immediately had <laughs> an idea. 
it, it will be possible to modify somehow this uh, street lamp in order to sweep my uh, village? Yes, it will be uh, possible. It is too short anyway. So I made just uh, some uh, days ago, I think, uh, yes, just some days ago, this uh, prototype. Uh, obviously, I've cut the uh, little plastic uh, street uh, lamp in order to transform it. I've added an LED inside it, just some two uh, electrical cables uh, and two washer in order to give stability. I will show you in details how to get there because uh, you need to do some cutting on this street uh, lamp here because they have used um, super glue to assemble it and uh, you can't disassemble it simply by pulling all the pieces because you will uh, broke everything but I will need to do some cutting there, remove the top uh, in order to slide in uh, my LED and some other uh, things and I will show you it in details in some uh, minutes. And this is my new version of a street lamp for this year. I think I will need to get it uh, shorter uh, because um, it's, uh, too, it's uh, too much to have 10 centimeters. Uh, I will need to uh, maybe use uh, uh, 9 or 8.5 uh, centimeters of aluminum uh, pipe because I think I really think that this is uh, too high. I know it's uh, too early to start talking about uh, lifing because I don't have any buildings uh, already placed but as it will take uh, many many hours to uh, build or make uh, 20, 30 or maybe uh, more street lamps and I think this will be the amount of street lamps that you need uh, for uh, layout uh, having the same dimension of uh, this one you certainly need to take a break sometime so maybe while you are doing other tasks alternate them some street lamps then another task then again some street lamps and uh, when you will need to have uh, uh, them at your disposal, you will have uh, them. I've just forgot to mention another important aspect. With this kind of uh, uh, classical uh, street lamp uh, set, uh, the operating space uh, is limited. You can uh, get the street lamps very close to them or when it's, uh, it comes to spacing them more at a certain point you can't operate anymore. This is uh, very limiting. So I will uh, show you also a different way to connect uh, the street lamps to the main power cable in order to let you adjust uh, the distance uh, between uh, the uh, street lamps themselves to whatever uh, length you will need. But before getting serious with the making of the new street uh, lamps, let me just add uh, some paper to the left side of uh, the uh, layout because it's starting to get sad as I've neglected it a lot during my last uh, videos. <music>
Cause you're all that I want, could you let me in? The last drink was the last drink But I don't wanna leave I wanna get closer Don't want this night to be over I wanna get closer, it's not over Yeah, we could go back to my place Cause I don't wanna waste no precious time So let's go back to my place If it's only for the night, let's make it count I love it, how you touch feels I love it, how you look at me in my place No, I don't wanna waste no precious time You said the last kiss was the last kiss Make it hard for you to leave We're telling secrets in between the sheets you to leave I would fall in a second if you let me Cause you're all that I want Could you let me in? The last drink was the last drink But I don't wanna leave I wanna get closer Don't want this night to be over I wanna get closer It's not over, yeah We could go back to my place Cause I don't wanna waste no precious time so let's go back to my place If it's only for tonight, let's make it count I love it, how you touch feels I love it, how you look at me in my place No, I don't wanna waste no precious time Don't waste no precious time Go back to my place Don't waste no precious time And that was how I will do all my new street uh, lamps for this year. Uh, an explanation concerning the wire connector. I've used a, a T connector. It is a two wire, two pin uh, connector. And the only constraint with this kind of connector is that you must use very thin cables between 18 and 22 AWG. AWG is a convention concerning thin power uh, cables and uh, you will find everywhere online explanation about them. And don't worry, I will put uh, some link for you down below concerning this kind of uh, connector. Uh, by convention I tend to use uh, red for positive uh, cables and other colors for uh, negative um, uh, con mm, cable. Uh, last year I've used red in this case for positive and if I don't have enough red I will use another color and a neutral color for uh, negative in this case, uh, black. Let's see if uh, I can switch them on correctly. Yes, they are all uh, switched on. And uh, the advantage of using these kind of connectors. Let's say I need, uh, I've laid down all my uh, power cable, uh, positive and negative. In this case, I have uh, white and blue for uh, positive and plain blue for uh, negative. Let's say I need to place my uh, first uh, uh, street lamp in this position. Okay, let's go and have it uh, connected. I just open uh, the other side. Oh, and by the way, um, this uh, positive connector is uh, uh, connected to this pin that is connected horizontally to this, uh, um, this connector here. So you have uh, to uh, connect the positive power uh, cable uh, right there and the upper one is the negative connector. So um, first one is white and blue, then plain blue 
uh, in the outside. Let me just uh, uh, connect it. Sorry if the camera will go offline. Not offline. If you won't see anything, so positive right there. I just need to place the cable inside. Okay. And then negative connector here. Okay, let's close it. Let's see if I connected it correctly. Yeah, good. Go ahead. Okay, they are both uh, switched on. And uh, let's say, haha, <laughs> no, I don't want it there anymore because I need it somewhere else because. I need to uh, place wherever I want. Let's remove it from that position. Let's place it in another position. Switch off uh, all, the, all the street lamps. Let's reopen our little connector here. Let's remove it. And the cable doesn't need to be closed because uh, here you can see that there is no open uh, cables and let's place it in another position right there same thing white and blue is a positive and a blue is a negative let's have it repositioned there again sorry if i have the camera not showing you what i'm doing i'm just placing uh, the cables in the right position there let's close it again okay let's see switch on the light and the street lamp is switched on so with this kind of connector you are free to do whatever you want with the street lamps very very useful uh, just remember what i've shown you uh, some minutes ago concerning uh, the classic uh, street lamp sets from uh, lemax or limax if you prefer uh, in that case uh, if you need the street lamps very close one to another yeah, the classic set is uh, perfect, but if you need uh, to uh, get the street lamps uh, uh, more apart than the uh, length imposed by the connection between the two uh, street lamps, you can't do anything. But using this kind of connector, you are free to disconnect the lamp, move it uh, some more uh, further, and then reconnect the um, street lamp to the main cable very useful and uh, in this case you will uh, be free to do whatever you need to do with the street lamps uh, two, two centimeters uh, apart uh, one from the others uh, 10 centimeters 20 centimeters 30 centimeters using maybe the same power cable uh, a quick uh, uh, note there uh, i haven't uh, used any kind of resistor for connecting the street uh, lamps um, generally it is a uh, common sense to use uh, one uh, resistor for each LED you use but during the years I've always used uh, 3 volt AC adapters uh, for connecting my street lamps without any problems even if I don't use any kind of resistor I can switch on my street lamps now and uh, switch off them in three months and not a single uh, LED will be uh, broken. And by the way, I just have a one, one uh, AC adapter connector for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven street lamps at the moment. This is my uh, AC uh, power connector, uh, three volt of course and 2.25 amperes and it's uh, uh, you can regulate the voltage because with this kind of AC adapter you can go from 3 to 12 uh, volts and this is uh, all I think guys yes this is all for now 
let me just uh, move the camera a little bit and that's uh, what I've done. I've added some uh, paper uh, all along the two sides of the river and uh, the waterfall you have already seen me uh, doing it. I don't think the result is going towards a failure, I think, but this is my own opinion. Uh, yours may be uh, different, of course. I think I will uh, close the video now, yes, uh, because I am aware that this time it will be a little long. Lemax or Louisville in Europe or Department 56 in US have always produced amazing artwork for Christmas village builders. But they all made the same mistake with lightning simply because they are and they will always be focused on the visual aspect of their creations and never on usefulness. During the years, plenty of customers have complained about the lights, but they never corrected their initial projects. It's just a matter of replacing some LED with the astronomical cost of 20 euro cents or 23 USD cents each but they simply prefer to put on the market ugly spotlights. I thought I was supposed to be the dumbest one. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. And thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.